Now, we've had a request to look at equivalent fractions. These are very important. Let's take a fraction like four fifths. Four fifths is exactly the same as something out of 10. If you got four out of five in a test, that would be just as good as getting eight out of 10 in a bigger test. If the test were twice as big, you should score twice as many to get the same score. They're the same number. They're both 0 0.8. That equal sign is very important. Equals means the same as. Now, look at this one. Let's go for 3 sevenths. That could be the same as something out of 70. Well, the bottom has been multiplied by 10, so we multiply the top by 10. 3 tens are 30. They're both the same number. Let's look at 5 eighths. 5 eighths is the same as something out of 24. Well here, the bottom has been multiplied by 3, so we multiply the top by 3. We get 15 twenty-fourths. Now let's take a fraction like 14 sixteenths. That is not in its lowest terms. Here we can divide the top and the bottom by 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7, and 16 divided by 2 is 8. They are both the same number, they're the same size, but this one looks rather better. 7 eighths is in its lowest terms. Look at another one. 15 over 25. Here we can divide the top and bottom by 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3, 25 divided by 5 is 5. 3 fifths is in its lowest terms. They're equivalent fractions. They're both the same size. They're both 0 0.6 or 60%, but 3 fifths looks rather better. Right, here are some questions for you to try. Copy the questions and work them out. You'll see the answers in a moment. OK, answers. Number one. Part A. Two fifths is something out of ten. The bottom has been multiplied by two, so we multiply the top by two, we get four tenths. Part B. Three quarters is something out of twelve. Here the bottom has been multiplied by three, so we times the top by three, we get nine twelfths. And the last one, part C. Sevens into twenty-one would go three times, so we're multiplying the bottom by thirty. Three threes are nine, so it is 90. Now, number two, reduce to lowest terms, six eighths. Here we can divide the top and bottom by two, so we get three quarters. Part B, four goes into 12 and 16, we can divide them both by four. Fours into 12 go three times, fours into 16 go four times. Look, same answer. They're all the same number. Part C, we can divide the top and the bottom by 5. 5 into 25 goes 5 times, 5 into 35 goes 7 times. Okay, there we are. I hope that helps.